it's your lovely abby dagrin and welcome back to my youtube channel lovelies today i'll be doing a video or a natal chart analysis on amber heard i will be speaking on her personality traits as well as her characteristic traits based off of her natal chart i will also be speaking on a lot of the success she's garnered over the years and how her natal chart contributes to a lot of those things so please stay tuned for the rest of my video lovelies if you have not yet become a part of the Abby Dagren family, then this is your calling to do so. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when I upload videos on the daily. Also hit that like button and because I know you guys will love this video. And also make sure you share this video with everyone you know. Whether it's your friends, your family members, your enemies, anyone in general who you know who would appreciate this content and would love to hear about this as well. Amber Heard was born on April 22nd, 1986, and this qualifies her to be a Taurus, and with this placement, she tends to be very open with things, and she tends to be a person that's very loyal, very reliable, and she does have a deep-rooted presence in her thoughts words and actions so when she speaks there's a reason why she's speaking she tends to be a very stable person very practical very productive and at times she is very stable and sometimes she can be stubborn loyalty is something that she sees as very important because being loyal to someone is beneficial she tends to be ambitious as well so she's the type of person who's going to make sure that whatever she wants in life is going to be accomplished and everything works out for her next up is her moon in libra and with this placement she tends to be a very irresistible person she's very intelligent very funny very charismatic and a person that's great with having conversations with others she's very sociable she does not like being alone She's very creative with this placement. She tends to be gentle, very friendly. She tends to be a perfectionist. At times, she can be vain. She can be forgetful at times. She's very inspiring. She's appealing. She's tactful and she's a careful listener. She's an even-tempered person. She's a person that loves to charm people. She's very adaptable. She's a very giving person as well. At times vanity can show up, she may at times be self-indulgent, and she's a very intelligent person, and at times she can be indecisive, but this is a great placement for her as well. Next is her Mercury in Aries, and with this placement she tends to be straightforward with what she means, and this is part of the Aries energy. She's not going to waste her time in getting her point across and this can at times make her not care about the consequences that come with that. However, she tends to be a very positive person. She tends to be very enthusiastic. She tends to be a witty person. She can be sarcastic and have a forceful voice. At times she can be impulsive and impatient, but she is the person that will be honest with you so you know how she feels and where she is with you. She is a person that always wants to know the answers at that exact moment. She has convictions that she will not change. She's very outspoken and direct in her speech. And she tends to be the person that gets over things quickly. So she won't dread on things for a long time. Next up is her Venus in Taurus. And with this placement, she is exalted in this place when because Taurus is exalted in Venus and she tends to be very rational and predictable when it comes to her love life favoring comfort over chaos she tends to have a predictable nature so her partner knows what they're gonna get with her 
She's also rational, so she can come across as having a lot of rationality. And she wants peace in her life. She does not want chaos, so she will be the person who will leave a relationship. Even if other people may think it's going well, she will leave it because chaos is not for her. She's also a very nurturing person. Taurus do have a nurturing nature. She is very predictable and she's very loyal she's very resourceful and very artistic with this placement in venus so loyalty is something that they will give to partners even though at times they may not deserve it next up is her mars in capricorn and with this placement she has high standards and she wants a person or be in a relationship with a man who is working and ambitious and she or the person who's with her is there for the long run. She is the type of person who herself is very ambitious and she does have a lot of endurance with it. And she is a hardworking person. She tends to be strong. And she's the type of person that really desires for wealth and success and power. So that's something that comes to the forefront for her. However, at times she can be stubborn because, you know, earth signs, they do have a little stubbornness to them. And at times she can be manipulative. So that is something that she would need to work on. However, being hardworking and having the endurance and the ambition needed to accomplish her dreams is one of the reasons why she is as successful as she is today. Next up is her Jupiter in Pisces. And with this placement, she tends to have a moral code that includes helping those who are less fortunate than her. She's going to make sure that everyone around her is doing pretty well and that she is a kind-hearted person to people who are around her. She wants to be satisfied in her life, whether it's in her career life or any parts of it. She is a person who tends to be a daydreamer, so she may think of things out of the blue and her head can be in the clouds sometimes. But she's also a person who can be easily influenced and can be taken advantage of, so she just has to be careful that she has people around her who have her best thought in mind and who love her and respect her and want to do things that are good for her and not to harm her in any way possible. So this is actually a good placement to have. Next up is her Saturn in Sagittarius. And she's the type of person that tends to focus on one thing at a time until she has mastered it. So at times people can say Sagittarius are type of people who will just go into 15 different things. However, with this placement, she will make sure that she will master something before she goes into something else. And this is something that's very great because... She's confident in herself and knows that she'll be able to accomplish this one goal and accomplish this one thing. So people tend to like to hire people with this placement because they know they'll be there for a long time and they'll make sure that they work to the hardest and they respect traditional authority and she's very thankful and supportive of the laws and she loves laws to govern her life. So this is also a good placement for her to have as well. Next up is her Uranus in Sagittarius. She is someone who is a renaissance person and she loves to dabble into everything. So I think her, her previous placement and this placement kind of balance each other out. So dabbling into stuff is very important. However, at times she's going to stick to one thing. So having these two placements really do balance it out. She has a great intuition and she also may be gifted with visions and precognitive ideas dabbling into everything is honestly sagittarius energy they love to go into things that are beneficial to them and that they will learn more about different cultures different people different occupations because they feel like they're on this earth to learn about new things and not only just do one thing that's why sagittarius tend to be very knowledgeable because they will read about different things and learn about different things. They're not very close-minded at all. Next up is her Neptune in Capricorn. She tends to focus on ways to increase her power and her wealth and her influence. So this may be going into different occupations. This may be going into different genres and being able to increase wealth and influence and power 
And she tends to be a part of a generation that idealizes work. Working is something that they will always do and it's something that's important for them. Having practicality is also something that they try to have and having the ability to attain reasonable goals. But because she will always stress the need of selfless and giving, she may find it difficult to attain goals unless she has lowered her expectations on all fronts. So having this placement is the best of both worlds. She's a hard worker. However, she is going to always give back and be nice to people or help people who are in need. Next up is her Pluto in Scorpio, and since she was born between 1984 and 1995, she is a millennial, and that what gives her this placement of having a Pluto in Scorpio. She tends to like to face things that are scary. What other people will run away from, she will run right into it. She loves intensity, and she just loves to go into a lot of different movements. She also is the type of person that looks into things deeper in any situation to discover what's really going on behind the scenes. So making sure that people or herself sees things that are interesting and that are important and deeper is something that she looks for because some people will look at things surface wise however other people will look at it deeper and more than likely those people do have a pluto and scorpio and we do appreciate people with this placement next up is her north node in aries and in order for her to accomplish her life goals or in order for her to gain the unhidden gifts needed she will need to do these things be bold and assertive she will need to use her energy and courage to inspire change identify with the warrior within assert her self-will to overcome different challenges that she may encounter take risk and not be afraid to speak her mind and be honest be the pioneering spirit of her generation not to be concerned with what others think or what other may do. She needs to follow her own path and her own desires. Then there is no way that she can go wrong. Surround herself with people who support her assertiveness and boldness. And most importantly, become the spiritual warrior that she is meant to be. So this is what she will need to do to accomplish her life path. Last but not least is her Chiron and Gemini. And... Her womb tends to be her not being listened to at a young age. So maybe when she was younger, probably she had a speech impediment or talking or people listening to her was a difficulty for her. So she may have felt insecure as to speaking or speaking up as to how she felt on different topics. And this could have made it harder for her when she grew up to be able to communicate with people and get the understanding that she needed because... Not only did she speak, did not speak about how she felt, but speaking really made her embarrassed. So with this placement, she should learn how to speak in a way that she feels comfortable doing and just knowing the right people around her will listen to her and the people who love her and appreciate her will try their best to be supportive of her regardless of what happens to that. Thank you guys so much for watching my video lovelies please let me know how you felt about the amber heard natal chart analysis please let me know in the comment section how you felt also please let me know in the comment section who else you guys would want me to do a natal chart analysis on if you have not yet subscribed please hit that subscribe button also hit that notification bell so you know when i upload videos on the daily hit that like button and share this video with everyone you know and if you have not yet followed me on all of my social media accounts, please make sure you do that because a lot of the content I post here on YouTube is not posted on my other accounts and vice versa. So make sure you go and like, follow, and share my content. And you guys can support me through the SD store and through my PayPal. I love you all. Please stay safe and healthy. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye lovelies.